All right. Hey, this is the first um, first problem I've done here at the at my new studio. I'm going to solve how far three number one, and this is Helen Wheels launches a rocket in the air for a total of 7.48 seconds. Uh, what time did it spend going up? What is its initial velocity? What is its final velocity? How high did it go? What is the rocket's uh, velocity at an elevation of 50 meters? Why are there two answers? So. Uh, here's a little picture. This rocket is going to go up, it's going to go down, it's going to go to some maximum height here, um, and going up and down took 7.48 seconds. So if we assume it's the same elevation that it starts at and ends at, we can say that the time it spends going up is equal to the time going down. So this is a key concept here. If it's the same elevation, we can just do that. So the time spent going up is uh, 7.48 divided by 2, 3.74 seconds, right? All right, so that, that's the first question that it asks. Uh, the next question is, um, what is its initial velocity? What's its final velocity? Initial is leaving the ground and going to the top, and then the final will be just negative whatever that is. Uh, so I can set that up um, like this. And I'm going to go from the ground to the top. At the top, the velocity is zero, because if it's not zero, it's not at the top, is it? Um, the acceleration all the way up will be down 9.81. So it's going up, it's slowing down, right? The initial velocity is what we want to find, and the time is 3. 0.74 seconds. Okay, so for that one, I'm going to use V is U plus a T. So zero equals U plus <coughs> negative 9.81 times 3.74. And so uh, it seems like U is going to just going to be positive 9.81 times 3.74. So 36.6894. Okay, now at this point you don't want to uh, round that really. I mean the answer is what 36.7, but we're going to keep that whole thing there. 36.6894. Right, and then we can keep going and solve for the, the um, displacement uh, and if we had our druthers, we would use one that is no u, but we don't have that formula necessarily. Um, so I'm just going to use this this uh, formula here. Uh, I'm going to use I'm sorry I'm going to use this uh, value that we just calculated and use that. Um, so it's going to be v squared is u squared plus two as would be the one I'd choose. Although you could use uh, a one half or u plus v over 2 times t, that would work. Any of them are going to work uh, as s, but I'm going to use this as my favorite. Um, and so 0 squared is 36.6894 squared plus 2 times negative 9.81 times s. So that's squared divided by divided by 9.81 68.6 and that's the um, oh yeah, 68.6 so this one says 68.5 that might be a different value of a 9.8 maybe instead of 9.81 um, oh the other thing we didn't answer was this uh, what's the final velocity hitting the ground well if this is positive 36.7 going up, it hits the ground with negative 36.7 because it's the same elevation and we're neglecting air friction. Um, here's our greatest elevation and we're just slightly off of the sheet. The sheet says uh, uh, you know, 68.5, so there it is, right? Um, the other thing I could have done to solve for the height was just go 0 plus 36.6894 in fact, it's probably easier to do this, right? 
times 3.74 and I'm using the u plus v over 2 times t alright that also works so 36.6894 uh, divided by 2 times whoops 2 times uh, 3.74 also gives you the same exact number um, so that works um, lots of ways to do this uh, and then the final one is, is uh, you know, at an elevation of 50 meters. So this, this elevation here is, is um, 68.6 meters. So 50 meters is here, right? And so um, what is its velocity at an elevation of 50 meters? Now we have to sous out again. We're not going to go from the ground to the top. We're going to go to the ground from the ground to 50 meters. So that looks like this, S-U-V-A-T. Uh, U is 36.6894. Uh, final velocity, we don't know. It's not zero because we're not at the top, right? Uh, negative 9.81. S is 50. We do know that. We want to know what it is at 50 meters. And I'm going to use our friend uh, B squared is U squared plus 2AS. Uh, and so B squared is... 36.6894 squared plus uh, 2 times negative 9.81 times uh, 50. 50 meters, 50.0, 50 right? Okay, so V is going to be the square root of all that stuff, right? 36.6894 squared plus. 2 times negative 9.81 times 50. Right? But it's really the absolute value of V because it's the, we're square rooting a square, right? So I can do that square root of um, 36.6894 squared plus uh, 2 times, don't forget that, that it's not negative 9.81, right? Uh, times, and then it's positive 50, right? And I get 19.1, that it's the absolute value of V is 19.1 meters per second. Uh, that means it could be positive 19.1 or negative 19.1 uh, meters per second. And the meaning of this, the, the way this works, is that it's on the way up, of course, it's positive 19.1, and on the way down, so it's moving up, right? On the way down, it's, of course, negative 19.1 meters per second. And it passes 50 meters twice, once on the way up, once on the way down. So there's your, there's the meaning of it all. Yeah. All right. Look, I cut my finger. What did I do to my hand? It's terrible.